now talk about the use of serum. Uh, as Sam said, uh, it's being used in the treatment of vision and recovery. That's decorated purposes. All right, so the, the main functions of the uh, cement, which is in the treatment of these buildings, transport, like roads, pathways, routes, bridges, etc. Several, like theaters, docks, speaking walls, etc. And how do you get colored cement? How do you what? Get colored cement. White cement? You can basically just color it. You put it in the white cement and then you color it. Because it's very colored to the white cement. Yeah. Not colored to the gray. Gray. Yeah. 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 Different colors for pigmentation and Okay. Did you hear that's very important? You want colored cement that's white cement. Okay, so uh Portland cement basically uh, serves a few purposes. Uh, one, it provides for the concrete project to be workable as it's wet. And once it dries, it acts as the binding agent uh, for the heat itself. What does it say when you need ship? What does that mean? The ship's all right. Basically, uh, can I get this? Or? Go ahead. All right. The ship's fine. Because uh, the ship's uh, basically, because ship's rust, so you can paint the metals with cement. Or, uh, so uh -huh. basically prevents the ship. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Use the foundation to carry large structures, dams, etc. Uh, supporting the oh yeah, uh, so. Uh, if the soil is weak, it can't support, basically, uh, for example, a tunnel or a large structure, uh, it could be injected with more uh, cement. It basically gives it strength and the ability to support the soil structure. Uh, used in repairs, uh, as we see with the slab is broken, for example, you can cover it, basically, with uh, or repair tanks. Uh, if you have tanks or anything that needs maintenance repair, uh, you use, uh, use cement for the flesh that which could be manufactured or they are adapted. Uh, on adapting, you basically add gypsum to the cement and so it's that uh, Use this fireproofing. Uh, uh, for example, you know, the fiber cement wood. What do we call it? Fiber cement shingles, shingles and clapboards came from a mix of Portland cement and uh, the cement carried a class A fire region, which means they could withstand fire for Yeah, note that most fiber and cement sidings require a gypsum board for maximum safety. Okay, mortar used to support bricks. Decorate that with steps. Uh, white cement for decorative purposes, as you can see the white uh, tiles, white cement tiles, which are easy to decorate the color. If you have a white building here, you can use white cement. And uh, cement can also be used to reduce wet. If they look old and worn out, you basically just Alright, uh, I've been to uh, one company actually that uses that imports cement from companies, etc. They basically run uh, their main uh, their main way of selecting uh, cement is through price. They first look at the price and that cost well ensure that quality passes the fair minimum. Uh, Alright, they determine the yeah, so the way they check for the quality is by determining the setting time, uh, the strength of uh, the binding strength of cement, the fineness, etc. And, and they always look at the tender condition uh, to check for the, uh, to make sure that at least 95% of the cement they get is above the required standard of quality. Um, that's it. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs>
Yes. Storing the the physical RAM drive in your SPI, you have to store it not more than eight bags uh, uh, over each other, and then put them on a uh, wooden uh, pallet. Uh, we have we either store, we either store it outside and cover it with a waterproof uh, cover, or store it in a tool warehouse. Uh, storing the storing the uh, storing the bulk loose uh, you know, we either you store it in the bags or in silos. There are two types of silos: the low level, the low level silo, which is which mainly take uh, about ten to seventy five tons. And uh, the 10 to 75 tons, that's how much, how many uh, kilograms? Uh, each, each kilogram. How many cubic meters? And then move, move over, move over, more slides. Yeah, and this is a low level mobile yeah, file. Static how much is the static upright time? This one here versus the two. Yeah. How much would they take? The capacity takes from 10 to 75, and the static upright takes from 20 to uh, 80. Uh, so that's how many cubic meters? Uh, Estimate that. Look at it. See how. Uh, uh, yeah, and the one up. Yeah, and the one on the top. Well, the one on the top is probably more. Yeah, the, yeah, and the one on the top is probably more. Yeah, let's, oh, let's look at the one on the bottom because we have the yeah. portable. Uh, the one on the bottom is probably something like 10 to 15. Yeah, right. The one at the bottom is something like 10 to 15. Yeah. The one on the top is probably more, and the other 20 or 30 years ago. Okay, the low level style is. Uh, is better than the static upright sound because it's, uh, we can transport it and it's easy to touch. It. We don't have a lot of low level sound. We don't have a lot of low level sound. We don't use it. We just basically use the static upright sound. Yeah. The reason is they require a queen to be loaded and offloaded from the truck. Yeah. yeah, yeah the these things, they, usually, they, they need to be offloaded or unloaded to a, it's called a low board. In America, they call it a low board. So they come in trucks and take this and put it on that logo and logo travels and puts it on the other It's not, we just don't have logos yet. Well, 